The ads have run and the money has been spent. Now it all comes down to you, the voters. This year's midterms could have big consequences for national politics, from ballot initiatives to the struggle for control of the U.S. Senate. ABC's Tamon Bradley has more now from Capitol Hill. Election Day in America, voters lining up at the polls, House seats, governor seats, and control of the Senate up for grabs. Victory is in the air. We're gonna Republicans are expecting night. a good night. President Obama's dismal ratings have left Democrats across the country vulnerable. This is a rejection of him and his leadership because he is the Democratic Party, and the Democratic Party is likely to lose seats. In state after state, Republicans have tried to make the election a referendum on the president. Obama's senator, not yours. Even some Democrats ran ads distancing themselves from the president. The administration's policies are simply wrong. For his part, Mr. Obama is expected to spend the day behind closed doors, participating in last-minute get-out-the-vote efforts. Republicans need to pick up six seats to regain control of the Senate. The battle could come down to Iowa, Colorado, and Kansas. Iowa and Colorado are two states President Obama won twice, but this year Democrats have been playing defense. And Kansas is a big wild card. The state hasn't elected a Democrat since 1932, but independent candidate Greg Orman may be poised to knock off incumbent Republican Senator Pat Roberts. It's not all bad news for Democrats. They could take back governor seats they lost in Florida, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin in 2010. On Capitol Hill, Tamon Bradley, ABC 7 News.